From a lavish funeral for a loyal guard dog named Ringo to a puppy party held three years ago and plans for an even bigger event when a Shih Tzu turns five this October. Krista Campbell has all the details in part two of this primetime news in focus report gone to the dogs. It was the party of the year that drew not only invited guests but many community members from Marvelly in St. Andrew who had never heard of such a thing in Jamaica before, a puppy party. October 2019, a Shih Tzu named idea turned three years old and her owner, Damara Lawson, went all out with decorations, food, entertainment, party favors, and yes, canine guests and their owners who were equally treated. Each puppy that attended had his own bowl with um, dog food and treats. I had personalized water, personalized juice. I had Hennessy at my party. I had liquor, I had food. There was cake, there was popcorn. Initially I was like, okay, it's a regular party. But when I actually got caught up and um, I was a part of the planning process and I saw how um, intimate it was for her, I went out and I made a dress for um, my puppy. Of course, there were gifts for the party guests, but for Miss Lawson, that's nothing new. And when I go overseas and I shop, I take back like 30 sets of clothes for idea, gift. I buy for all my friends, I give them as gifts. So idea has her own closet, his own closet. Gail Farkison's poodle gift also has quite the closet as a result of Miss Lawson's frequent shopping sprees. As you see today, she's wearing a beautiful dress because we normally pair up together. Our cars matches theirs. <laughs> so when I'm shopping, I not only shop for clothing, I shop for other accessories for the car and for them. Now the puppy party cost between thirty to $40,000, earning Miss Lawson criticisms from persons who felt it was a waste of money. If you love your pets, like I love my dog, nothing is too much and it's not too much of an expense. As I said, these are my babies. And so whatever I do for my child, I will do it for my pets. Now, back in 2019, Ms. Lawson could not find any company in Jamaica that made cakes for dogs. But since news circulated about her puppy party, someone has contacted her. She has ingredients that should be used for dog food, so she's going to put a mixture together. Ten dogs were invited to the first party, but only six turned up. Ms. Lawson expects it to be bigger and better later this year when she celebrates the first birthday of her now seven-month-old Yorkie Pomeranian mix, India. I'll be having both parties in one because Idea is born in October and India is born in November. So I'm planning a bigger and better party. Like Peter Perry of Perry's Funeral Home, who buried his beloved guard dog Ringo in fine style last Monday, both ladies spoke of the loving bond with their pets. Whenever I'm away, they get sick, I have to take them to the hospital, they have to do x-ray like a person would. And believe me, it's something hard to deal with knowing that they are not well because they do get sick, they are emotional and they miss their owners. The dog actually was bought for my daughter. Over time, seeing how affectionate the dog is and how caring she is, I was then drawn even further to, you know, be more attached to the dogs. It's why Mr. Perry insists it's time Jamaicans stopped thinking of pets as dumb animals and treat them with the dignity they deserve as living creatures. He relayed a recent encounter on his way from a funeral in Guy's Hill, St. Catherine. There was a pedestrian crossing across from Angels Plaza and there was a, a brown dog standing there at the pedestrian crossing watching the vehicles waiting to cross and they had to stop the chariot and found on the man coming from behind me and the next person and allow him and him, him just cross. They want to live, brother. Them leave them house just like me and you and want to go back home to them family. But are Jamaicans' attitudes towards animals already improving? We'll discuss in the final part of this Primetime News In Focus special report, Gone to the Dogs. Krista Campbell, TVJ News.